Give the hair a little brush. Thank God for Tangle Teaser, guys. My hair would be an atrocity without it. Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. How are you all doing? I hope you're all really, really well. And yeah, happy Sunday if I get this live tonight, which fingers crossed I will. So yeah, welcome back to my channel everyone. I hope you're all doing super well. For this video today, I thought I would do something just really light-hearted and fun, just a really kind of mindless video, I suppose, in many ways. I just thought I'd do a little bit of like a fun Q&A with myself. I've gathered together a few questions online to ask myself in this video um, and just, yeah, so you can all kind of get to know me a little bit better. I've not really got anything like this on my channel at the moment, so you probably won't know much about me apart from the fact I like makeup, I have a dog and I had a baby last year and I'm married. So yeah, I just thought I'd do like a really nice light-hearted fun little Q&A with myself. So let's get to it. Let's not waste any time. Okay, so the first question is would you like to be famous? And the answer to that is no, quite simply. So I feel like if I was successful with YouTube or my blog or anything like that, I feel like that kind of fame isn't the same as being actually famous because you're not kind of the type of person that would get paps or anything like that. You're not likely to be, you know, on the front of the Daily Mail. So I think, no, I wouldn't like to be famous, but I would really like to be successful on YouTube or with my blog. So fingers crossed that will happen one day. The next thing is where would you love to live more than anywhere else? So I am really happy where I am at the moment but if I could live just anywhere else off the top of my head, it would probably be either the Cotswolds because it's absolutely stunning. I really like North Yorkshire. There's some stunning areas in North Yorkshire and overseas probably, probably somewhere in LA, I mean. Who doesn't want to live in Beverly Hills? Absolutely unreal. One of the best places that I've ever been to. The houses, oh my God. Unreal, 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 unreal. So yeah, they're the places that I would like to live. <laughs> Next question is, who would be your ideal partner? Obviously, other than Mark. I think, mm, ideal partner is a difficult one. But looks wise, if I had to pick someone off the top of my head, it'd be definitely Charlie Hunnam. Like, no questions asked, Charlie Hunnam 100%. I drive Mark mad with it when we were watching Sons of Anarchy. I was just basically sat on the sofa drooling watching him. He is unreal in Sons of Anarchy, so yeah, probably him. Actually, probably Tom Hardy because I think he loves dogs as well. So a toss up between Charlie Hunnam and Tom Hardy all day long, definitely. Next one is, do you still have your childhood teddy bear? And the answer to that is yes, I do. And it's actually now in Eric's cot, which is really, really nice. Next question is favorite holiday that you've been on? Without a doubt, my favourite holiday has to be Vegas when we got engaged and the second time as well when we went on our honeymoon. I absolutely love that place. Next one is, what is your opinion on reality TV shows? I've got to be honest, reality TV shows are my guilty pleasure and I love a bit of trash TV. Keeping up with the Kardashians is definitely a favourite. I love all the housewives. Love Island. Oh my God, Love Island. Yeah, I love reality TV shows. I'm really, really bad. The next question is, do you like scary movies? So yes and no. I always think it's a good idea to watch scary movies. And I don't mean horror films. I mean like psychological thrillers and things like that because I love the way they make your mind think and you have to guess what's going on and all the rest of it. But they often just leave me like, seriously disturbed and then I go to bed just thinking about all this awful stuff so yes and no like I always like the idea of watching them and then I get in bed and I think why have I done this to myself again but yeah in general I, I do like watching them but not like horror films I don't like them more psychological thrillers and that sort of thing the next question is do you like roller coasters and the answer to that is yes I do like roller coasters can't really go on much about that one but yeah I do really like roller coasters so the next question is, if you could change one thing that happened, what would it be? I find that a really difficult question to answer because I feel like 
there's no point looking back and saying I wish I could change that I don't that I really just don't see the point like there obviously is things and this obviously closer to the time frame in which things have happened I have thought why did I do that or why did I waste my time with this person or that person and yeah I can look back and think god why was I with that person that's kind of more what I think but then again as weird as it is and as much as I think like oh my god especially like past relationship and things like that I think god why did I spend so much time with someone who was just so not right for me sort of thing I don't think you can really think like that because I kind of yeah there is regrets on that front but it kind of leads you to where you are in this moment and I kind of like weigh up how things have worked out in my life and I do think yeah it, it does kind of lead you to where you are so I find that a funny one so really I can't think of anything for that question unfortunately. So the next question is do you see yourself as more of a country girl or a city girl and this is a really tricky one for me because I absolutely love the city obviously I'm from Manchester but we do live sort of in the countryside so it's a really tricky one. I would always 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 prefer to live in the countryside definitely I love like countryside life and living like away from the hustle and bustle I love living just in a more quiet area but equally I do love the city and I do love the buzz of cities especially Manchester obviously and love Manchester for shopping and eating out and things like that so I love both it's hard to say like I am one or the other but I suppose for the most part I am more country because of the way that I live like going on big dog walks getting muddy shoes all the time so, but yeah a mix up between the two really Next question is what is your favourite cocktail or alcoholic tipple? So for me it has to be a Prosecco or if it's summer I am partial to an Aperol Spritz as well. The next question is a place that you would most want to visit and oh my god there are just so many and I'm so lucky that I'm with Mark and he's got the travel bug really really bad because he did travel in years ago so there's a lot of places that he still wants to see because he's kind of like that way inclined anyway but off the top of my head definitely the Maldives, Dubai I really want to go to, Sydney in Australia I would love to go to, New York. Milan, I'm trying to think, America, is there anywhere else in America? I'd like to go to Canada as well, don't know whereabouts, I just know I want to go to Canada at some point. Seychelles, but the main one at the minute, definitely the Maldives. The next question, you should all know the answer to this anyway, but it says, are you a dog person or a cat person? I'm allergic to cats anyway, but in any case, I'm a dog person. I love dogs, I've got Elvis now. Um, our last dog Max was just amazing, I just love him so much still. Stanley, the first dog I ever had, I just adore him. My mum and dad's dog Buddy, who's Elvis's brother. I'm just such a dog person, I love dogs. I do prefer dogs to people as well as cats. The next question is do you have a tattoo? Yes I do have a tattoo, it's a garter style tattoo on my left thigh and I got that in... I think either 2011 or 2012, which is actually mad, means I've had it for like 10 years, pretty much. And I really don't know where that time's gone because I remember deciding to get a tattoo so clearly in my mind and it being such an exciting thing to finally have a tattoo and I can't believe I've had it that long. So that is really scary actually, but yes, I've got one tattoo. The next question is one item you can't leave the house without. I can't possibly whittle that down to one item, so I'll give you a few. I need to have a lip balm with me. I need to have my phone with me. Usually I like to have a hairbrush with me as well, because if I don't have a hairbrush, then this long mane likes to get knotted, so I need my tangle teaser to hand. Lip balm has to be line of lips as well. The next question is, what is your dream house? So for me, although we live in a new build, my dream house, and I think Mark's kind of on the same track with me, would be a big country house done up really, really nice inside. So still with all those nice country features and all the like original architecture and things like that still with lots of character but just done up really really nice with like new bits and a good mixture of new and old basically so like a modern country 
barn style country house that's kind of my dream house with lots and lots of land for Eric and Elvis and yeah it would just be amazing. The next question is so weird it said would you rather cheat or be cheated on? The answer to that is neither. If you are in a situation where you're having to pick that is just not even normal. I'm not even going to answer that. This is one specifically for girls. It says, it says, what is your favourite candle scent? So I have two off the top of my head. It's a vanilla French toast from Yankee Candle. And the other one is another Yankee Candle and it is the blueberry cheesecake one. I am so bad for sickly sweet smelling candles they're just oh i just love it they're my two favorites definitely i love those they're amazing so the next question is what is your high this is actually a really funny one because i think unless you physically know someone on youtube it's really hard to tell if people are tall or small i am short i am only five foot one so if you thought for whatever reason that i'm tall i'm definitely not and the next question is, what food do you love the most? I love grapes, I love chocolate buttons, I love king prawns, I'm obsessed with spinach and kale, which I know so many people find with, and broccoli. Like, I love green vegetables so much. I love strawberries, I love blueberries. I, most of the things I love are actually really, really healthy, but chocolate buttons and M&Ms are like, oh my God, I couldn't be without. And the last question that I'm going to answer on this because there is so many on the list that I've been looking at. The next one is what are your favourite things to do? So quite simply, my favourite things to do are blogging, spending time with family, walking Elvis, having nice chill times at home, going on holidays. My favourite things to do are definitely spending time with friends, family and just being in my happy places which are just at home, nice coffee shop and yeah they're the things that I love to do the most and that just brings me to the end of this video really guys so I really really hope you enjoyed this one I will be back with more very very soon see you soon bye